Hey everybody, this is going to be Cricket here, and this is going to be a Force Strategy Gaming cast, and I hope that you guys are ready for a pretty awesome game. Um, we ha This is going to be a ZVP matchup, and uh, you should be pretty familiar with some of these players, but if not, I'll go ahead and introduce them. Um, our pink Protoss player is going to be JMag, and he is uh, going to be spawning in the uh, in the nine o'clock position, and our Zerg player is going to be a, none other than, of course, Spenny Shua spawning as the yellow Zerg. And the really cool part about this game is that, of course, you can see Vile. Um, Spenny Shua was actually ended up, ended up getting picked up by Vile Gaming. That's the same team that Hash, Psy, um, Iacoic, that was featured on day nine. Uh, so you know, a lot of really good, solid players, and so Spenny Shua actually got picked up by him. And one of the main reasons why he got picked up is not only his solid play, but because of that creative build that I showed you guys on the last time um, I had a Spenny Shua game with the close positions, uh, with the mass queens kind of strategy. And so this is essentially what we're going to kind of see, but this really isn't a strategy. This was what he was trying to do. This is this game was actually featured on Mr. Bitter's stream he was actually had Spenny Shua up on um, up on there you know uh, practicing for getting ready for MLG and so uh, Mr. Bitter also known as Flabulous he was uh, he was uh, kind of talking to Spenny Shua about this build and so Spenny Shua was telling him but of course um, JMag denied the expansion the 16 hatch that comes from this build and so he just went ahead and went across so this can be pretty scary but of course JMag sees the pool timing he knows that something probably uh, went elsewhere and so he wants to go ahead and deny to make sure there's not like some crazy triple expand but of course the overlord is in J Max base uh, Spanish Schwa is getting all the intel he needs he can see the cybernetics core timing and he's gonna really want to figure out where are these chrono boosts going to so we'll see Spanish Schwa looking for looking for that but of course this is a very interesting situation to be in as a Zerg player when uh, you really have to be able to defend your expansion and uh, they're really far away, so we'll see how uh, Spanish Shua's plans change in this. Of course, I was watching the stream, and so I was watching kind of him talking through it, and so it was pretty interesting. Um, he never was really panicky the whole time. He just kind of felt comfy with it. So, But JMag has taken out some pro players during Mr. Bitter's stream, so JMag is a very, very good master level Protoss player and potentially going to be looking at getting into the Grandmasters League. He, I believe he's a, he's French. He's French, so he plays on the Europe server mainly. But uh, it does look like he is walled off, and of course, Spanish, while getting his Overlord out just in time as this first century goes out, he was able to see where the Chrono Boosts went. There was a few Chrono Boosts on the Cyber Core, but not too big of a deal, and the first batch of links are going to come up and check out and see exactly what's going on. Of course, he doesn't want to get a link trapped in here, so he'll probably only bring one. Yep, there we go. So just checking things out, seeing that it is a century, so potentially might be looking at a 3-gate expansion, which of course is a very solid build. And so a few Queens are out. The next two queens are going to be coming for Spanishwa, and of course he has to connect these bases as fast as possible. You do not want these queens just chilling here. And of course if JMag had known this was going on, he definitely would have tried to put early, even earlier pressure on than what he might be planning to do right now. And so he knows what's up, he knows there's an expansion over there, but we do have a bunch of Kree tumors coming down that are going to try and connect these bases as soon as possible. Because, oh, Spanish Wall just being pro, getting those in right at the <laughs> smiley face by J-Mag because he knows he sees it. So he is going 5-gate, it looks like. So might not be looking at getting an expansion, spending all those extra resources. He is blocking off, so Spanish Wall now knows what is coming. And so this is a very scary situation to be in. He does have four queens out, does look like he's going to go ahead and lay down a spine as he continues to spread the creep his uh fifth and sixth queen are almost out and so if we bring up the income tab they are still dead even on harvesters uh, but it does look like Spanish Wall is going to be warping in and coming very soon as a bunch of zealots are in this battle. So uh, this is going to be a very scary attack from JMag. Going to go and bring up the units. We see we have 19 lings, uh, 6 queens against 6 zealots and 3 sentries. So all of a sudden this doesn't look very sc scary. Now they are slow lings so it uh, looks like he is going to try and chase them down and potentially get a trap. Decent force fields getting laid down, making just a canal for one lings. So that all these queens are off creep, so that creep, so they have to be very careful. Uh, only a few of them actually have transfuse, and there's a clutch transfusion. Is he going to lay down another one, or is this queen going to? 
make it. Oh, another transfuse while all getting chased down by these zealots. So Spanish while doing a very good job. Those spines are getting in on this. Zergling is going to try and just tank a little bit of damage while the queens just beast it through as there's so many. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this is actually getting cleaned up rather easily. Wow. So Spanish while just looking completely pro <laughs> what the hell is happening he does not know and everyone was completely freaking out when this happened because you're not supposed to be able to defend a five gate that easily especially when your bases are this far apart uh, we'll kind of see how this goes it does look like the income is starting to balance out but of course once again Spanishwa is going to jump ahead now that he has that third base coming and going to be fully operational still more drones on the way he's starting to get a few more lings and a few more overlords to make sure he doesn't supply cap himself so spreading creep going to be connecting his bases um, preparing for his uh his fourth and his fifth base does look like an overseer is coming in going to be checking out and seeing what is up on uh, jmax base hallucinated phoenix not too worried about it and it does look like he's going to see the robotic space so he knows colossus are probably going to be out does look like these stalkers are going to go ahead and try and deny scouting but if he doesn't play it right uh, this overseer should probably die yeah goodbye buddy so it does look like plus one is coming out i'd like to see more chrono boosts on this but uh, the creep is just coming. And of course, he could be a little bit more aggressive on the creep, but I mean, he's just so saturated. I mean, look at the income. He's so far ahead. Um, I'm still waiting for that fourth to come up pretty soon. But it does look like he is getting ventral sacks and the speed for his overlords. So uh, he's timing this pretty well. I think the ventral sacks was a little early, but of course, you always want to try and time it to, you know, d delay this upgrade just a touch so that um, they finish around the same time. But regardless, it looks like he is going to to be uh he's gonna try and prevent the aquanda build from being ineffective and that and the way that that happens is because of sim city it's really hard cannons really hurt it um it have re it's really hard to move around in order to attack an army so if you lift them up of course force fields are then negated and of course any kind of sim city it doesn't really matter anymore so i do like these pylons here positioned by jmag as it prevents any kind of run buys in the back and of course this army is right in the middle so there's gonna not going to be any kind of run buys and of course he needs to be very careful as this pylon only has enough to, for this side so if he knocks out this pylon the forge will go down but he is chrono boosting out that defense level one and what is this a ton of overseers coming looks like he might be trying to do some kind of mass contamination build on this robo bay that's going to be finishing or two he has two robo bays up starting to chrono boost the uh colossus so uh spanish is going to start trying to corrupt them i assume once he okay the first one does have enough energy is that what he's going for he has it, and bam, so uh, stopping that Colossus build, and of course more on the way, does look, oh my goodness, he's just rallying them there, uh, contaminating, oh my goodness, how close, one second away from coming out. He is also doing it to the Thermal Lance. These guys are taking a different path to run away. J Max trying to warp in a few more Stalkers, but I don't know. Here's another Overseer that's going to try and contaminate this. Uh, oh my goodness, and he can't make a single Colossus. While this is going on, he's getting a Spire, 18 Lings, 27 Banelings, and he's starting his Weapons 2 and Defense 2 for his ground. Uh, he is going to go ahead and take that fourth. It is up, and so he will have all of those injected. He's Let's look at his income. Wow, over two. UK as he continually brings them in and denies this as there's only been one Colossus has been able to come out I feel like I'm playing a gerbil and a Quanda hybrid and that's uh, gerbil is uh, I believe he's the guy that did the contaminate thing and then Quanda of course the upgraded links but it does look like these links are gonna be coming in and this is gonna be a very scary force we see that he is 40 supply ahead of course that doesn't matter too much this is a Ling Baneling composition army but it does look like he uh, does have some loaded in with the overlords so this is gonna I'm gonna try and catch all the action if I can but it does look like he's gonna be bringing him down is he gonna start unloading him I don't know force fields go up but bad force fields oh my goodness he was able to get in here and now he's gonna drop all of these banelings on the Colossus to go ahead and try and weaken them as much as he can uh, killing a ton of probes in the process this Colossus is almost gone trying to weave them in he's doing a decent job of 
uh, microing as Colossus as there's only a few more Banelings left. But of course, all of these Lings just completely mopping up all the probes. Oh, he knows the third is there, so he's going to go ahead and take out the third. Looks like uh, more Lings, oh, more Corruptors now are getting uh, funneled in. Of course, uh, Thermal Lance isn't even done yet as all those contaminates really slowed him down. More, corru oh, more Coloss or Corruptors on the way. 42 lings on the way, and this army might come a little too late, as now the Corruptors are here, and they're going to be able to pick off all these Colossus, so the lings are going to do phenomenal damage against all of these Stalkers, as he does have upgrades on them. 2-2 two, two is just finishing, and then there's the GG from JMag, and Spanishwa takes the game. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this crazy game, Spanishwa, of course, just being boss like he always is. I want to congratulate him on being uh, part of Vile now. And I want to go, oh my goodness, so it does look like Spanish was going to go ahead and grab the third, even though he's not even close to being saturated, but he knows uh, he has a bunch of uh, Zerglings out on the map, a bunch of queens, I mean, he has nine queens, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, whenever there's a weird third like that, any most Protoss players are going to counter and see what kind of early damage they can do, but obviously we saw Spanish one knew that was happening, laid out a few spines, kept pumping out the queens, never supply blocked himself, and is uh, continuing to, so he's going to really start to macro hard as there was not an expansion going down, of course, now there is, and that's probably exactly what he's going, Spanish was going to be checking out, he does have the Zelnaga, uh, creep spread is going to be on the move towards J-Max base, and it does look like continual drones are coming. He did fall behind on the drone count, obviously, because he had to make a few more lings than probably what was necessary or what he needed. But we see seven, nine, dr ten drones all on the way. He is still doing phenomenal jo job on spending. He has not supply capped himself quite yet. He, has a, he went ahead and moved the spine over to his base, so I really like these uh, defensive spines that are that are all around just kind of providing that extra little help. And there are 10 queens out on this map. Oh my goodness, if we look at the supply Spanish while still staying ahead as he really didn't lose much in that battle. He really didn't even lose that many lings, so Forge going down, going to probably be getting that plus one and some cannons for defense Defense as Spanish while is going to really start to take a huge lead as now he's taking layer at his awkward third, uh, or I guess the awkward second second but uh we can see that the income is already going to start to heavily favor spanish while as he has three hatches when uh j mag's base isn't is just now finishing so uh spanish while is going to be looking at taking a very heavy economic lead and potentially even maybe a fourth rather soon as he's going to be spending all of his money there finally metabolic boost we are almost 11 minutes in the game and this research is just starting to come looks like he is getting a bailing nest and evo chamber two evo chambers it looks like so uh gonna be, go ahead and start getting those upgrades start going for looks like Ling Bane Ling Queen for the most part uh, so a very interesting combination of course we saw this with the Aquanda strategy um, it's very very heavily center, centered on Ling Bling upgraded so uh, of course very uh, really nice sim city from the protoss player can really shut it down as it's very hard to get pathing correct with those lings but unplug him if you guys want to watch more spanish while he does have a stream on tl um it's also it's from justin tv so do justin.tv forward slash spanishua and i'm going to go and type that because it's different it's going to be that so the whole thing is going to be justin.tv forward slash Spanishua. So that's going to be it. So you need to go there, and that's where he streams. He streams every weekday, and he streams his tournaments that he's on. It's like from 5 to 9 Pacific time. So awesome guy. Everyone should check him out there. And so I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you guys like these kind of games, I just ask that you come over to my channel and subscribe if you like it. And uh, until next time, this was a Force uh, Strategy Gaming Cast, and this is Cricket. I'm out.